What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this Mad Max uh, paracord bracelet. It's very simple and uh, straightforward so uh, I'm going to get right to it. Hear how it looks. The front and the back and the knot. Alright to start it off you need to find the center point for the paracord and then you measure the distance on your wrist so mine's right here or you could just get a uh, measuring tape right here and just measure around your wrist uh, mine is about six and a half so I'm just gonna do that I'm just gonna measure the distance from this paracord so right here it's about the same thing and then you want to start from right here and go ahead and create this bring one one side of the cord to your right and the other to your left and then you want to go ahead and do uh, your cobra stitch so I'm going to bring the right side on top and then the left side I'm going to bring it to the bottom just like that and just tighten it. Um, what I also want to do is uh, I want to keep this two hole open so that uh, I'll show you later. So I'll just get a spare uh, paracord laying around and just stick it in here and just tighten this tighten this uh, stitch up just like that. And then you want to go do another cobra stitch, this time on the left side, bring it on top, on the right side, bring it on the bottom, and tighten this. And then I'm going to show you do another, another do another stitch, same thing, uh, right side on top, left side on bottom. Now you want to do this all the way to the bottom of right here. Once you get down to right here, I'll, I'll show you uh, what we need to do next. Once you're done weaving down all the way to this point, make sure to leave a gap uh, in, on the bottom so that we can bring the end of each of this paracord in through the hole. So for this part, um, we're gonna take the right side since it's uh, showing up like this. We're going to get a fid, we're going to insert it through uh, the paracord through here, just like this. If you don't have a fid, you could use a uh, hemostat or you could use a uh, screwdriver and poke this uh, paracord through. So since I have the hemostat, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go from the top down here. bring it all the way through and then for the left side since it's going down I'm gonna bring it up so go to your end of the paracord on the left side and stick it through from the bottom and bring it all the way up just like that All right, and then at this end, since you have this uh, extra paracord just keeping it open for you, uh, you go ahead and take it out. Now you're gonna bring the end of this paracord through this hole right here. So this one is gonna be to the left, and this one's gonna be to the right. Now if you don't have a, a fid, you can use a hemostat or the screwdriver that I said to just uh, poke it through. So 
So I'm going to go through here. So now the left side. And go through here. And then you want to pull it all the way through. And make sure to measure your uh, the size of the wrist. All right, it looks fits tight. Make sure to uh, make a stopper as well, and make sure to have enough uh, gap to uh, have it open to put it through your wrist or put it through your hand. So like that. So this is how big it is for my hand right here. So I'm going to have the stopper right here. So make sure uh, I measure it correctly. Now to make uh, the stopper, you can make, you could use the diamond stopper or not, but that seemed too big. So I'm just going to use this, uh, this regular knot. So to uh, start the knot, Go ahead and uh, have this layout like this, and then you're gonna the left side you're gonna make this loop and bring it underneath, and then the right side you're gonna make this loop and bring it on top. And then next you're gonna bring the right side of the cord, go all the way bottom through everything, through this hole, and this one you're gonna go in from the top through this hole. And then you're just going to tighten it, tighten it up like this. But uh, like I say, you're going to have to play around with this to bring this knot all the way down to the point where uh, I opened it up earlier, which is to right here. And uh, once you do that, I'll show you uh, what you need to do. All right, so I brought the knot down to uh, this point right here where it's going to go in through my wrist, uh, my hand, and then I'm just going to tighten it. And this is how it looked like once I uh, snip and singe this. So that's what I'm going to do, and uh, I'll show you the final product of it. All right, guys, so I snip and singe this part, and this is how the Mad Max paracord base set looks like. So this is how it looks like when it's finished. And uh, this knot, you could do a diamond knot, like I say, you could do this knot or the overhand uh, knot. Uh, I like this knot better. It looks small. The diamond's too big and the overhand looks too, uh, too ugly, in my, uh, in my opinion. So that's how it looks like. Here's the front. And here's the back.